let's face it, our nation needs saving, period. And we are the only ones who can and must save it, no one else. If we do not fight to save our great nation, we, our children, and the Omanem will very soon not have a nation to call home. We cannot be content looking back with nostalgia at the prosperity and greatness that we once enjoyed before the war. Those stories and memories of the days of old do not feed our children today. The grandeur of our past does not take care of today's sick and suffering. Collectively, we have to recognize and accept just how far we have fallen. We have to look at the state of things as they are now and acknowledge that we have an infinite capacity to raise our standard of living, reduce the price of food, and create new opportunities for our people. It only requires leadership with vision and understanding that is practical and grounded in reality. We need someone who recognizes that until we invest in quality medical care to keep Liberians healthy, thousands of our citizens will continue to die young. We need someone who recognizes that the sorry state of our infrastructure holds back economic growth, deprives our farmers of access to markets and our citizens within the diaspora of the security required for them to contribute to nation building. We need someone who understands the importance of a better educated workforce so that companies that invest in Liberia have easy access to a well-trained and talented workforce. We need someone who recognizes that right now, all of Liberia pays a terrible price for the incompetence and corruption of her leadership and the failure to modernize our roads, our public transit, our electric grid, our internet capacity, and our water and sanitation infrastructure. As the saying goes, when you want something done best, do it yourself. I do not trust anyone else with the responsibility of leading this once great nation down this course that I've charted. And it's for that reason that I am running for president of the Republic of Liberia. I seek not fame or fortune. I'm just tired of all of us pretending. No, we are tired of pretending that all is well when we know full well that it's not. People working but not getting paid, the illegal reselling of land with impunity, all of this corruption in our poor system of education. So, on behalf of those whose founders hope is a day when prosperity is the companion of all, I am Robert F. Morris, and my people, together we move.